definitely helps having your glasses on. Left, no glasses, right, glasses. And off it, it will pop nice and easy. Hey, Mr. Gavin, he's getting very good at last. Sweet! It's doing something. I, I had the diesel heater running for quite a long time, so uh, glad the batteries are getting a bit more juice back in. Sweet! I don't know if I've explained before, but this plasma cutter isn't the most powerful, but it does have an integrated air compressor. So that means don't have to carry an air compressor around. Sweet, it does the trick. I need to get better skills at using it. So let's hope this is the start.
So I've made a fair amount of progress really. Uh, this will be the back of the device and that will be the front. So the job of this thing is to act as a hinge, basically. Where's my pen? Where's my pen? So the hinges will be around here somewhere. Or there. Anywhere in this area should be fine. But I'll double check everything before I put it on. I'm just going to put some more weld on then probably try and grind it down flat. Sweet! Greetings YouTube, coming at you on a gorgeous Easter Friday. Happy Easter to everybody out there. And just wanted to give you an update. <coughs> I've been quite busy more putting some more welding on and tidying up at the minute. Uh, let's get over the bad things first. Okay, the welding on here, which obviously is very tricky to weld cast iron and uh, mild steel, and I'm not an expert welder. So that didn't work out very well. And on the flip side, on the physical flip side, not the literal flip side, uh, if I, I'm going to try and get a close up, but it's not a very good angle with the light. There's a big ass crack all the way along. So, uh, as always, I have a as always I have a backup plan, and that is fairly simple. One moment. So the plan is, sorry, I'm just looking for a pen. The plan is, we're going to cut a little piece off about one and a half inches square. We're going to drill a hole in this bit right here in the corner, uh, in this corner here, and that's gonna get bolted through that hole and then welded along. <coughs> along, I don't know why I said that, but yeah, there's gonna be a hole drilled in this piece so that we're not reliant on the interface of the weld between the mild steel and the cast iron, whatever it is. So that is the backup plan. This well, this will need to be perfectly flat. Sorry, this area will need to be perfectly flat. Uh, got some welds sticking up there and here before that goes on. I'm going to try and get a close-up of just there. You might see a crack. You see that crack? Just there. Hang on, I'm trying to zoom in. Give me a sec. Yeah, anyway, there's a crack there on the last bit of weld and that's kind of endemic. This is fine, even though it doesn't look great. <clears throat> You'll notice, and it happened almost by accident, that the bits that were welded have ended up on the sides rather than the front and the back. And actually, I think that's a good idea because there's going to be way less stress on the sides uh, if there's going to be any stress, it depends on the weight distribution and haven't sussed that out totally yet. With regards to the motor frame, which is what this is, uh, I'm very happy with how that works out. Uh, that annoyed me that I had to cut that off, but that was just the way it is. <coughs> <coughs> so before I waffle anymore, I'm going to quickly go over a list of stuff that needs doing. As it is, that needs sorting out. I want to get rid of that. Uh, we'll go over the bolt... Uh, situation because the reason that bolt is there and it was a bit of hassle to be honest welding them all on the inside the reason that bolt is there so that we can tighten up and it'll grip right on here it'll grip the whole thing and the reason I had it on the inside because if it was on the outside here then I would have needed a longer bolt which would have stuck out the side uh, so that that needs doing this needs sorting out which brings me on to this uh, I need to make up, I need to make up some small metal plates that will go over there and just leave the space where the <laughs> motor's going to poke out. <coughs> but overall, I'm very happy with the way it's going. I'll be honest, it's taking a lot of, it's taking as much thinking as anything else. Uh, oh, there's another job needs doing. One second. Now this is something I thought about when I made it. Yeah, it's a real tight squeeze. <clears throat> My leg's broken off, right? 
Give me a minute, I'm gonna weld that back on and I'll be back with you, my friends. Ooh, that was a big ass bottle of weed. Weed? Well. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with how fast the rod was burning. Anyway, trust me, that isn't going anywhere for the next few years. I think I was talking about what I needed to do and what the jobs were for now when it kept falling over, so let's get back to that. So I've explained to you that I'm going to weld something on there which utilises the strength of the bolt hole and then will be welded to the frame. I'm not exactly certain. Uh, this is the back, I'm certain of that. This is the front. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which, uh, how exactly it's going to be spaced out yet. This I need to get rid of. I need to cut along here. Uh, that's going to be one of the first jobs. So let me do that now and then we can continue with what we need to talk about. So I've got it set up nice and uh, trim. I've cleaned everything, it should be a 10 second job, he says. Anyway, that was a little longer than 10 seconds. The problem I've got is it keeps sticking, and when it sticks, uh, you're trying to sort of pull it that way so it'll stick, and then when the sort of tension of you pulling it lets go, it's uh, almost like it skips because it's not following that smooth line. So yeah, anyway, less hassle than using a grinder, a lot easier for my shoulder, and way less dirt, metal fragments flying around. It's no good, so let's just get all this stuff off and see what we've got. Hey, she's thinking about getting going in the sunshine. She's a beauty, my friends. And that is very thirsty work, so I'm gonna have, go and have a cup of tea and then I'll be back with you. Sweet. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you, which is basically the motor mounted at the back end of the turbine. This, which I've just cut, I may get rid of this completely, uh, all the way along there, and then use the method I described with the bolts connecting to the side. It's quite important we have to keep this nice and, uh, I don't want anything here yet until I've decided how and what exact method we're going to use to raise and lower the angle because when I show it on a hinge I want it on a hinge so that I can adjust the angle it's not necessary not necessarily some kind of wind safe thing although that would be very easy to do just by having something that comes down here let me show you. something there with a spring on it it's literally all you need uh, the springs would be at pretty full tension connected to here and then as that lifted up, it would do whatever it's got to do. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that motor in the back. I just want to show you one more thing. I just want to show you, I don't have two frames, but I could build another frame and this turbine can actually take two motors, I'll show you. Right, there probably won't be room for that, but when I get rid of this bit, that is gonna make us a lot more room. Uh, the bearings, let me, sacrificial bearing. Now that's, that's a sacrificial bearing. We honor your sacrifice to the cause, my brother. We do. Right, so uh, I just wanna show you how much room the bearings take up in the scheme of things, which isn't a lot. Obviously the bearings will ride on top so yeah, I have, whoops, sorry bearing, I have to get rid of this, so let me do that now, and that might be a pain in the ass with that weld, but yeah, I really need to do that, and uh, make some bolts as well. I'm going to go get the Nobo whiteboard, and I'm going to write down a list of stuff that I'm going to be doing, and then I'll sign off for now, and uh, I'll, I'll crack on while the sun's shining, and I'll get those jobs done. Sweet. One thing I haven't mentioned is that that is a lot of room to put cables down there, isn't it? That's wide open. So yeah, the main job really is to get rid of this, 
and then sort out the, the reinforcements which are based around bolts. I've got loads of M12 threaded bar, so we're good to go. But that's it for now, and I'll be cracking on as much as I can, and I'll see you very soon. Sweet! I've cut a couple of very small tabs, which I'm going to just weld on here, which will mean that every time I want to put this uh, on and take it off, I don't have to worry about doing that bolt up.